Lisa, you know, not necessarily back at home, but back in the region. Um, how's it being back today? It's lovely. I mean, it's so familiar for me. I've played many games on number one, won a couple of grand finals on number one too. So I'm very fond of this ground and it's just nice to be able to give back to the community where I came from. And tell me a little bit about um, what's going on today or this afternoon and I suppose how special it is to be able to do that, you know, on a ground that you sort of call home. Yeah, um, so we're here helping out all the Swans players with the clinic. So we're just, I guess, encouraging young women to try AFL and play AFL. We've got, I think there's quite a range of age. We had some that were four and a half to five, and then we've had 11 and 12 year olds. So the young ones aren't playing yet. Some of them are Auskick, but some of the year uh, 11 years, they were saying they played on the weekend and are playing up tomorrow as well. So it's just, I feel very privileged to be in the position that I am, where I can come back to my home ground in the position I am now as a professional player and share my wisdom and encourage them to play AFL because it's the best sport in the world. One of them asked, is it fun playing for the Sydney Swans? And I said, it's the best job in the world. Um, and you still are very young yourself. So I suppose, you know, having something like this, would you have loved something like this even when you were, say, four, five, 11 years old coming through? Yeah, so the pathway was very different for me. Um, so I would have loved to have had the opportunity to play from Oz Kick all the way through, but didn't have that. So I'm just so glad that women's sport is moving in the direction that it is moving and that they have the opportunity to come through a, a lot more developed pathway than what I had. Absolutely. And I suppose you guys are in the middle of pre-season this morning. You said you had training sort of um, earlier today, um, how's that been going and how are you guys feeling ahead of the season start? Really good, we're looking awesome. I feel like every year with the Swans we've improved. Um, obviously coming off the back of a pretty good season making finals last year. There's a lot of expectation that we've put on ourselves because it's amazing but it's not where we want to be. We want to win a premiership so we've started the pre-season off really well. We've um, the coaching staff and recruiting staff have done amazing in getting in some amazing young talent, such as Holly Cooper as well, who's from Newcastle, which is awesome. Um, but we're in for a really good season, so watch this space, I'd say. Uh, last year was such a transformative season, I suppose, for you guys, um, getting your first wins and making your first final series. So I suppose, yeah, is it only up from here in 2024 for the Swans? Yeah, I mean... We're not, we're not here to go backwards, so it is only up from here. We want to make a final and win a final, like I said, and make a premiership. But last year was extremely transformative. We went from not winning a game at all to making a semi-final. Um, but yeah, we're, we're not settled with that. We, we want to be better. And I think, like I said, the recruitment that we've brought in and the young talent and the development of our existing players as well. Like there's so many young, talented girls that were amazing last year, but have just taken their game to a new level. So it's only up from here and I can't wait for the season to start, get into the good stuff. You talk about <laughs> recruitment and talent and things like that. Do you think that there's um, more talent, if we nurture it, that could come from the Hunter and Port Stevens and areas like this that you know we could hopefully one day say, see in the AFLW or in the Swans? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've already got a couple in the Swans, like we've got Heaney playing at the moment. Um, um, and then we've got Coops and I. Um, I think it's a bit of an untouched area, Port Stephens and the Hunter region, because like I said, the pathway wasn't always what it is now. But now with the new developments, the Swans Academy, which I know that there's a lot of young women that are from here that are in, um, it just gives them that platform to show how amazing they are. And I definitely think there's a lot more talent here than, than we know of yet. So we've just scraped the surface. Um, a little under two months until you guys sort of kick off the season, I suppose. What does that next two months look like for you guys and what are you going to really be focusing on so you can start with a bang against Collingwood, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah round one against Collingwood. We actually are blessed with the opening round of the season, so it's going to be um, a very good opening round. Um, looking forward to the next two months, Scotty, our coach, has actually broken it into segments. So we're in our phase one at the moment where we've got about a three or four week block of... I guess we would call it more of the grind. Like we've got a lot of conditioning, a lot of running. We really need to get our fitness up as well as our skills and our game plan. But once we get past that block, we move into match sim um, and playing practice matches against other teams. So once we get into that, we can get into a little bit more, I guess, structured play, team selection, um, the scary but hard stuff, and then we're into it. So I guess it's just a gradual build um, all with the same end goal in sight, which is round one beating Collingwood. Um, and for yourself, obviously you've talked a lot about the team's goals and everything like that, but what about for yourself, your balancing study and playing and everything like that, what are some of your goals for this year? Um, I think for this year we have so much talent, as I've spoken about, 
my goal will be to play. That's the first goal, which might seem small, especially as somebody who's played so many years, but I think getting selected in this year's team will be the greatest achievement of my career so far because it is such a talented list. And then from there, it's to play as many games as I can play and hopefully within this season to the next hit 50 games. So that's kind of my goal.